there's some guy in the Pythagoreans let it slip because the square root of 2 is irrational. Very embarrassing that the square root of 2 is irrational. So they marooned him on a desert island and left him for dead. Yeah. Why are they always out on ships? <laughs> why are they, why are they it, it would be like if I told the story and they were driving in their car. Ships are it's just how they got around. They were flying in a plane. So why boats? Kirsten's guess right there. Okay? So you can sit down, Kirsten. Okay. Good job, Kirsten. Actually, I have to, I have to stay over here the whole time because there's no other way to, to, to navigate this program. So, you'll have to be very, very good children. I have to pursue now. All right. So, we're going to learn something called Newton's method. Newton's method is a way of using the derivative to approximate zeros of a function. Uh, even if you make a really bad guess, which Kirsten made, then uh, we can still... Use it, right? She guessed about eight. The real zero is closer to 1.4. So what we do, we're going to use the derivative to do this. So bad. Okay. Um, so what we'll do, we'll say eight was our first guess, uh, and we'll we'll find out like how far are we? Is that, is that worth zero? No, it's not. Um, let's shoot a line up to the function. Okay, and then I'll get a an intersection, I think. Oh, yeah, it's a point at the intersection of those two objects. There we go. So the guess is way off. It's 64-ish, right? <laughs> but here's what we'll do. We'll use the, the derivative, right? And the derivative at that point would be, uh, you know, the slope of some line, right? So we'll use that tangent line and go down. And now it's that tangent line intersects the x-axis at a closer guess, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So we will use that as a better guess. Slightly bigger than 4, better than 8 as a guess. Um, let's see. Intersect here and here. Okay, so that's a better guess, but not, not as good as we want, right? Right. So we'll shoot up another. So this, like we've done one iteration of Newton we found another guess. We started with one guess, and through that whole process, we found a second guess. Make sense? Okay. So now we'll do the whole process again. We'll we'll, we'll shoot a, a, a perpendicular up from there. Uh, perpendicular, perpendicular line from here through there, and we'll go up to the function. We'll find where it intersects that function. Find the actual value of the function at that point. So there's that. And we'll draw a tangent line, the derivative. Okay. How about that guess? It's better. It's getting better. So we'll draw an intersection of those two. We'll draw a perpendicular line from here to there. This is the actual, this is the, the value at 2 point, whatever, 2.3 maybe. Um, we'll draw another intersection. Okay, this is the actual value of the function. Draw the tangent line again. 
Okay, better. Very close. Better. Perpendicular line again. <coughs> Intersection there and there. Tangent. Is that better? No. We're, we're close. You see how much I'm having to zoom in just to, to see a difference between the two? Is this programmable forever? Yeah. As far as I know. Have you ever just sat here all day and scrolled? <laughs> All right, so calm down, people. All right, so this is the original function, right? Let me actually, uh, I'll, I'll change the color. I think I can change the color. Um, Object property. Color. It's going to be that color. So that's the that's the original function, right? The, <laughs> our guess of the zero is is not too far off of what it actually is. Uh, we're gonna draw another tangent line here. Um, a tangent to this curve at this point. Okay, is it close? Let's see how much I have to zoom in here. A lot. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Intersection between these two, perpendicular line, point of intersection, uh, something, draw a tangent line, tangent to this curve at this point. All right. <laughs> Scrolling. Look the, so yeah, this, this 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 program is having trouble getting that close. So Colby's question is: at some point, I guess no, it can't go on forever. Uh, it's so close that that the program can't quite really calculate it. It can't plot that function that close, that far in. Okay, so no, it doesn't go on forever. So at some point. The value is acceptable. acceptable. It's close enough. It's good close enough. enough. Right. So let's, uh, let's actually let's zoom out and um, <laughs> and see what that whole process looked like. Is this guess really close? It's, yeah, it's really close. Approximately the, the value of 
was doing his method, which you don't know how to do yet, but it has pictures. We'll switch and put the pictures in. Talk about why would Newton's method not work based on the picture? You know, it's, 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 